I heard like this, this loud yell and I looked outside and one of my neighbors, she ran outside and said her, her niece just got shot in her house. I know of daughters getting raped by their dads and their stepdads. Like a whole pile of really negative, bad stuff. But you try to just be positive and stay focused. In these neighborhoods, we know that children as young as eight and nine years old are literally born into the gang situation. My name is Roger Bradley. I'm the senior program officer at Restore Belize. These children are literally traumatized. Some of these children have seen murders. It is very critical to reach these children from a very young age. So in 2013, UNICEF recognized this need and they decided to put funding to farm a steel pan group. We felt that between Restore Belize and the National Institute of Culture and History, we could provide free steel pan classes for children in these neighborhoods. And the name that was given was Pandemonium. Pandemonium is basically to make noise and, and, and just have a good time. And the theme was beat a pan, not a man. That is to address the, looking at the real situation on the south side where people are beating men, we are like, beat a pan, not a man. We believe that becoming a part of a group like this could help them to build their self-esteem, could motivate them to stay in school, and to motivate them to stay off the street. Well, I know that for a lot of the young people in our group, when they go to the pan room, they don't want to leave because it's, it's like a haven there for them. And it's somewhere that they could you know, go and be free and be themselves and not have to worry about the, you know, the problems that they're going through in their neighborhood or with their families or at school or anything else like that. My name is Alexander Evans, and I'm the director of the Pandemonium Steel Bands. One of the most important things that young people are searching for is identity, something that defines them, something that they can say, I am this. And music is, is, is perfect for that. Music to me is food for the soul. I can't imagine my life without music. My name is Dominique Norales and I am a member of the Pandemonium Steel Band. I, I grew up in a single parent home. My neighborhood um, is pretty close to knit, but it's been known to have pockets of violent situations, which I've gotten used to, sad to say. Dominique is one of my most promising um, lead pan players, what we call the tenor pan or the first pan. Prior to the start of this program, she had absolutely no musical background. She's like one of those underdog success stories that you always root for. She, she, she comes from a very humble background, but She's the quintessential example of someone who doesn't make excuses for why she can't do certain things. She's the type of person where if there are 50 reasons why she can't and one reason why she can, she's gonna focus on that one reason why she can. There is no time, like literally no time to be idle. There is no time to be texting that guy that's been bothering you. There is no time to do anything that's not pan or school. There is no time. So for me, 
that has kept me out of so much trouble. <laughs> so much trouble. I'm taking biology and chemistry at SJCJC and I want to be a forensic scientist as I feel that it's something Belize really needs. The whole idea of Restore Belize is to keep our children in, in school. They understand that it's not just about the steel plant, but it's, they also understand that they need to perform well in school. Sometimes I find myself questioning and wondering, you know, why I do it. But then I hear one of my students saying that, you know, all his friends that he used to hang out on the corner with are, you know, telling him, you know, like, yo, you don't hang out with us anymore. And then he responds by saying, I can't because I, have, I always have to be at steel band practice. It's deterring them from doing something that they would have done that would have been like an idle situation that could have led to probably getting arrested and doing jail time and just doing something that's completely negative. Some of the parents, like Dominique's mom, has you know, expressed to me how much being in this program has changed Dominique's life and, and has like helped to keep her on that path towards success. I especially see in the guys in my band. I really admire the way they prevail through really stormy situations that could have ended their life. Like literally just they could have died. Yes, I grew up in a in pretty dangerous situations too. But sometimes I feel that they, they needed pandemonium more than I did. Panyad is the biggest steel pan showcase in Belize. It happens annually during our September celebrations. Steel pan music is supposed to be enjoyable, fun, electrifying for the performers and for the audience. My energy has to be right there on par with my players so that I could feed off of them, they feed off of me, and the audience feeds off of everything. Absolute euphoria, like you don't even know. Every time I see a picture from Panya, or a little video clip, or I see my uniform from Panyad, I just get immediately just so happy. This is really an offering of self. So you're putting yourself out there and you're saying, yes, this is what I did. I, I want you to be proud of me. I want you to see that I can do something good. I want to prove to you that I'm not just the kid on the corner smoking weed, or the girl that just every guy uses, and the kids that kid that is failing in school. I want you to see that I could do more. And when they went out to perform, I mean, it was just electric. It was beyond expectation. These children really, really felt good. They really felt appreciated. And I think the audience made them feel that way. And it probably was the first time for many of them that they felt that level of appreciation by so many people. It was amazing. It was just beyond, it just blew our minds. To me, music is the most powerful tool in the sense that it has the power to change how people feel, it changes how people think. It can get inside of people and start movements, it could start revolutions. I see pandemonium being a tool for social change. I mean, in Belize, everybody is at risk of being caught in the trap of, of the negativity and the violence. And what pandemonium and what music does is give people an opportunity to be a useful product of their society and not just a bad product that just adds nothing to it.
So pandemonium has, has done nothing but add absolute joy to my life. And if I wasn't playing pan, I really don't know where I would be. It's just has added to my life in so many ways. Ways that I probably don't even realize it.